I've always wondered. Who are these guys? Stay till the end because you'll finally know about these gangsters. Base 5 is mainly known for being a clothing brand aimed at the hip hop community. However, they will find their way into suburban homes, becoming one of the biggest brands within the skateboard community. And get this, they did this by selling vintage clothing. By the way, here's an example of some of their attire, which you can go pick up at the local suburban store for around 105 bucks. By the way, this video is sponsored by Suburban. The store for the poor. If you walk into your local suburban store, you will spot three to four cutouts featuring five members of the brand. The brand slogan will read, Wear it in. And, Wear them before they wear you. Which implies that these five models could be real, at least in my opinion. You see, in mid-1992, the brand would aim heavily at the urban community. This would be the effect of gangster rap, funkadelic, and overall street culture that would plague the streets of Los Santos, making it pretty much impossible not to bump into a gangster. So what did the brand do? They teamed up with Los Santos' most popular gangster rapper. Having him dress up in two bandanas while facing the camera wearing a chain with a Uzi on it. So seeing that the brand hired rappers to model, I think it's safe to assume that Base 5 could've and was more than just a clothing brand. Around 1992 and maybe even before. I believe that Base 5 could've been an entertainment group made up of five members. And yeah, I'm including the dog. The first member being Nino. He can be seen wearing streetwear and a big cross. The second man being a large Mexican, black, or even a mixed race, possibly being just the muscle. They're just to intimidate. The third man is a disabled man in a wheelchair, wearing a bandana and holding an AK-47, possibly the craziest of the group. And the fourth member being the main attraction, a man wearing a bandana smoking a blunt, and holding up his gun, not giving a fuck about the world. This man being Tupac himself. And although it's never said in the flyer, we all know the legendary look. And Julio G of Radio Los Santos can be heard talking and spinning multiple records around the rapper. So this makes sense. But I know you're probably asking, what is his gang affiliation? Ballas or families? Well, to answer that, we have to go back to Grove Street. Lance Wilson, aka Ryder, will have a poster featuring the Base 5 member. And although Ryder betrayed his fellow gang members, it's obvious that he hated his rivals, going as far as beating up a teacher for wearing the color purple. So I think it's safe to assume that the member of Base 5 was wearing a green bandana despite the yellowish overlay. The rapper possibly belonged to GSF and grew up or stayed somewhere in the Ganton area. I also believe that the disabled thug could have been a member of the families as well, since gangbanging was at its peak during the 90s. And these men are seen as streetwear, bandanas, and guns. So if you wasn't gangbanging, then you was either hanging or slanging. But fast forward to 2013, the brand would detach themselves from the thugs and will focus on promoting their basic Base 5 logo, putting the logo on baseball shirts, trying to target more of a suburban community. But let me know what you thought about Base 5. Who are they and where are they? But yeah, I'll be wrapping up this documentary so I can focus on some of your favorite gangsters. So be sure to leave a like, comment, and sub to the channel. This is your boy, LS Central. Check in.